Welcome to Learning How to Play Crusader Kings 3. And we'll just keep going. There's a series, if you're watching for the first time, where I try and explain all the things I do to help you get into this game. Take some time, and I think the most important bit about it is learning not to be afraid of playing it. Uh, we have low control in a county that we just took in a war, so we'll send our marshal and try and wrest control back. We can designate a guardian for our youngest daughter and we will go ahead and see. So... I think we'll just give it... Our wife can do it. She'll like us more for it. So she's orthodox and uh, Greek, we're apostolic and not, so we don't want the child to change here. There's a bunch of wars we could declare, but I don't think we're gonna. Declaring war here hasn't helped us in the past. Declaring war here, yeah, we'll, we'll be crushed, No, no matter. What's going on here? Let's check this situation out. He has been fighting against a dissolution war and he is just one basically, but it, it weakened him some. So we could decide to attack our neighbor to press our claim on the county of Kartley. We are kind of evenly matched, but he's probably going to beat us because these troops are going to replenish to the full strength uh, f quicker than ours and we're just not big and strong enough to deal with it. What I find a little bit disturbing is that this guy, like he has only this daughter and she's unmarried. But if we manage to get a male heir at some point, uh, we might try and get a marriage going here so we can just absorb it. Uh, through that way. However, our wife is growing a little bit old and there might not be an opportunity again to get a male heir. Honestly, we're gonna have to look around and uh, potentially also sleep around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check on the ladies of the court first and foremost. So we'll see here, opinion of us. Our daughters love us most. Then there is uh, this older lady, our niece, 16. It's a bit young, um, but to be quite honest, uh, she's not of age yet. So once she is, she might be a viable goal. I know it's a little bit icky, uh, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Granddaughter, night niece. Um, Sadly, all the women here are a little bit older. Now, another thing you could look for is uh, checking the wives and daughters and people around you. We could, of course, just go here. That's that's an idea. Um, okay, seduction's not going to work, but uh, romancing and seduction, neither are going to work. Why? Why do you hate us so much? Zealous dislikes cynical. Humble dislikes greedy. Humble likes humble, though. Yeah. I can, I can see, okay. And we're lower in rank because she's a princess of a kingdom and we're just, you know, a duke pretending and playing at being king. Could declare war on him. <laughs> we wouldn't get very far. I can assure you of that. Oh, we have a war here. What is your religion, my friend? Okay. Well, he has better alliances than us. We have zero and he has one. And we would get crushed by that. And they're not far away enough. The Tahirid uh, recently made some problems for us before. So, yeah, we'll have to see. Also, I wanted to check settings. The audio settings. Let's go with the sound effects a little bit lower. 
and the interface sound effects, those can go quite lower. I'm, I'm a little bit, those are very loud a lot of the time, and I don't see the point of that, so I was just tinkering around with this a little bit. We are no longer wounded, but are we scarred? Now, sadly, we did not become scarred. It was such a gnarly wound, too. Let's see. I've been corresponding with your Chancellor, and I must say that I've... Okay. So this guy over here likes us a little bit better now. Good stuff. Could try for an alliance here. He likes us better now. What's going on? A poetic friendship. Um... Gain the Strife and Bloodlust artifact. Interesting. Zahak, my dear friend. Our sister-in-law and friend. I was once reminded of your victory against the Rabia. That was who hold, held this before us. So I decided to write a poem of your triumph. Strife and Bloodlust. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. Prestige per night and prestige... It's not great, but it's also not terrible. Victory over the vile. When red plumed war comes to his lands, all flashes of iron and shouted demands. Then all shall tremble as he takes field, all fire and fury and thundering wield. Interesting. Not bad. Thank you very much. We could get it and make some fun of her. Um. Or, no, we, we take it and send a copy to everyone that the lady we beat knew. Now we're cynical and humble. We're not gonna do that. Sometimes I like to make a, a more roleplay decision there. All right, I wanted to check. Oh, we can request a claim. Oh. But it will not be accepted. By the zealous craven. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted to check. Your son. My daughter. However, that... Wait, no. Is he your heir? Who is your heir? No, that guy is your heir. So this one is fine. Because he is not... He might still inherit a title, so that's not actually fine. We need a son. That would help us a lot, these things. Let's help us. Some, something fierce would... Uh, what do we do? How, how do we go about this? Why can't you have more children? We need a son. We need a lover. We need all sorts of things. Okay, let's try and find a lover, maybe. We go to the find character thing. We want to go ahead and... Go to... Let's see. Diplomatic range, yes. Ruler, doesn't matter. We want an adult. Adult, we want a female. Marita doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, these are all inside our range. Let's go by opinion of us, which again is mainly going to be people we are related to in some way, shape or form. She is still too young. I mean, we, we, we could try with our daughter. Who is already a godless blackguard. So she would give birth to the primary heir 
who then takes the titles that are currently rightfully hers. That sounds terrible. Who do we have? These are all a little bit too old. That's the problem here. I, we, we literally have no option. We must seduce our daughter. So we, we shall try this. Um, Alright, let's see. Cynical, arbitrary, fickle. Oh. We'll have a sparring match with her. Nope. Didn't work out. She likes us a little less now for the suggestions. All right. Didn't even read the text, but yeah. Sometimes you actually don't need to. Kind of get the idea. Could go on a pilgrimage, honestly. Wait, have I something that isn't equipped yet? Yes, this wasn't equipped. So a little number here apparently shows you if you have something that's not equipped. Uh, we have the gold to go for pilgrimage. And... We'll go to Kapan. I don't want to spend too much money. Oh, we had a prisoner that died? Do we have prisoners that... Yeah, nope, we don't have any prisoners left. Uh, everyone is already kind of dead. Alright, let's see. We could get some sympathy for heathens because we travel with some people who aren't that bad. And since we're cynical, apparently this is the correct option. Why would we want uh, disdain for heathens? Levy reinforcement rate plus 20% is fine, but honestly, we get a bit more money out of people who are not of our faith and our realm isn't coherent right now in faith. So, I don't think they're all that bad. That's fine. Oh, 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 our wife is pregnant again. That's good, that's good, that's good. Not sure how, because we're currently on a pilgrimage. Alright. Yeah, alright. I'm finally here, the Church of Kapan. As the bishop offers me blessings, I reflect on everything that has happened. For God to bring me here at this moment in time, a whole lot of walking. What is important that I am seen and heard here indeed. So that boosts our piety a bunch. Which would again help if you wanted to go to Holy Wars a lot, but we can't afford those, so really, yeah. Uh, let's check the wars we can declare. Amir, Amir, Amir. This already tells me we can't really afford it. Our pilgrimage ends, we are returned. Very good. Because um, these are likely all Holy Wars that we can declare here. And again... <sighs> We will simply be absolutely obliterated in Holy Wars. That's that's really all there is to it. The reason we need a male child is so our daughters fall out of the line of succession. So we can then start marrying our daughters off for alliances. If we do it right now, as it is, we might lose parts of our country. So let's see, how long will you be pregnant? She has been with child for six months, so around three months more. Pastures have been constructed, very good. So we can upgrade our curtain wall to make a bailey out of it, which gives us some more money, more garrison. Oh, yes, the enemy of Rome. While studying the tactics of the ancient generals, I was astonished to learn about the exploits of Hannibal Barca during the Second Punic War. Known as the enemy of Rome, Hannibal's growing achievement, uh, crowning achievement was the Battle of Cannae, where his army of roughly 50,000 outmaneuvered and encircled the larger 80, 
6,000 strong Roman army surrounded and unable to retreat. Only 3,000 Romans survived. So we can go for Logistician, which is pretty cool. But Flexible Leader, I think, might be more interesting. Enemy Defense Advantage, minus 50%. And Maximum Battle Roll goes up. Decreasing Defense Advantage of enemies is pretty, pretty big. Logistics Supply Duration is fine, but we are not going on long far reaching campaign so uh versatility was hannibal's greatest strength though to be fair usually it's logistics that win wars it's battles that you know push stuff forward but wars are won with logistics so we could upgrade this costs us a lot now but it, it'll yeah we'll do it greater defense in the homeland it's always good our lady wife keeps teaching people Greek. Fine. I accept this. Our niece is now 17. <gasps> Our player, heir, and son. Okay, he needs a good apostolic name, Hovanes. Ah, very good. There we go. So, now, if we check our succession again. This, by the way, it, it couldn't have... Why why can't I ever find the right button for this? Really. If we look at our succession, there is no splitting anymore. The women aren't inheriting a thing. Because male preference says the men come first. If there's a man, they get everything. If there are two men, then it's split between the men. Women only inherit if there's no men. And this boy, he is fine. Not great, but he is fine. Where should we put him? The martial focus? I think so. We need a warlike people for the moment. We are surrounded by danger and enemies. Uh, and he also definitely needs someone who educates him. And it'll be us personally. We'll take care of our own child. Who's currently balanced. Alright, now we can go ahead and get some alliances going so let's check this here um let's get an arranged marriage with our daughter that's acceptable to him so that's a decent sized alliance we get going finally very good will you want an alliance my good friend um Still nothing on your end, huh? Well, okay. Let's see. Can't we get some more here, maybe? Not really. Do we even have a daughter still that needs someone? Ah, no, we got this guy going. That's fine. She's got this. We could use them. Uh, but we need one matrilineally. Just to make sure. Just to make sure the line continues on this side as well. Because you never know how things might go. So, <laughs> Alright, now we can go for the duchy of this thing here. That's fine. So now we have a few more alliances going, which helps us with safety overall. Wait. Uh, this guy is fine, and this guy is fine. How is my allies' military strength still this low? Confusing. But alright. So one is very close to us. The other one is, I think, a little bit further away. I'm not actually quite sure where this guy lives. We just promised him our daughter, but we have no idea <laughs> where the man even comes from. Oh, well. So I think another thing we should try and do is... Do you still have allies? Yes, you have, and not, not few either. My goodness, that's a problem. You don't have allies. So we'll send our bishop 
to go get us a claim down here. And it doesn't really matter. We just we just want a bit. We just want to grow a little bit around here. The larger the realm, the safer we are. Simple as that. I could check, you know, growth, development level, all that kind of stuff. But right now, I'm just trying to get my hooks in anywhere I can. I just, I just, we need to grow. We need space. We need titles. And going on a more dispersed approach also helps preventing a duchy forming underneath us in the case of succession. And something I wanted to point out earlier. This is a pretty decent situation right now. Because it is very unlikely that she's going to bear us another son at 45 years of age. So it's likely that he will remain our sole heir. Plus, he is zero years old. Our main heir would have been 24. So he will inherit and we will have a longer reign later on with him. Uh, we don't need to look at our knees anymore. We can stop that now. The, the, the bad thoughts are gone. Our wife has done her duty t uh, tenfold and we will be fine and never need to speak of any of this ever again. This is okay. Oh, the Princess of Georgia. Did we have a change in rulership? We did indeed. Okay, we have the same ally. Question is, will he join on her side or on our side? We have this guy here. Who has a claim on the Duchy of Abkhazia. Well, it's a very enticing war there. Very enticing indeed. How is your relationship? Where does it come from? Okay, it's this guy. So if we kill your husband... Which seems to be very easy. Oh, wow. Nine other agents. Uh, we break the alliance and then we should have an easier time to press that claim there. Because she personally isn't all that strong. We could even potentially take her our own. On our own. Oh, right. I wanted to upgrade our levies here. Let's check what she has. She has Bowman 600... Light Horsemen and Onagas, which isn't ideal. Uh, I like to upgrade the pike. I just really like the pike. So we'll go that way. We're even because that's going to be an issue in a moment. We're going to stop this. We're going to send him home to convert stuff. Convert stuff. And, yeah, we'll, we'll hope to break this alliance here with the murder plot. And once that's done, we are going to go move in, take what is rightfully someone else's person thing. Ooh. All right. We could become a respected expert with our sword or go for another weapon which gives us some martial experience which isn't bad but we're pretty close to a level up anyhow. So I think I'll take the respected expert. We're just good with the sword, that's fine.
Uh, Marshall is doing good. Alright, we'll wait for the experience point here to pop in a few seconds. And... Oof. The night effectiveness is amazingly strong. So I think we'll go that direction. Better knights are crazy. Knights are already really good in battle. Even better knights. Yeah, that's that's insanity. I hope he lives long enough for, for my schemes to develop here. Alright, I think we'll leave it here for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you got any questions, leave them down below and I'll get around to them. See you next time. Until then, bye-bye.